Her pain won't stop. Farina Nafik's daughter Rizana was beheaded in Saudi Arabia. The young woman was found guilty of killing an infant in her care, a charge her mother dismisses. She was taken to the desert, assaulted and forced to sign a confession. My child was harassed. The 16 days that she worked in that household, she was given food to eat in a toilet bowl. The teenager went abroad to help her woodcutter father feed, educate and clothe her younger siblings. Opportunities are limited in Mathur village in northeastern Sri Lanka and a job overseas seemed the only option. When she left, Rizana was 17 years old. But job agents had forged her passport to say she was 23. The Saudi government doesn't allow workers who are minors. This girl was always carrying babies and was very fond of young children, not just her own brother and sisters. It's a view echoed throughout the village. The initial shock at Rizana's execution is being replaced by anger. Anger at the grave injustice done to a child whose only dream was a better life for her family. Seven years of appeals failed to secure a pardon. And her family says the young woman was denied a fair trial. She has not been punished according to Sharia law. So uh, there is a, the problem is in the implementation of Sharia law. So we can't accept this punishment. But others seem to disagree. The baby's mother could have pardoned Rosanna or accepted blood money for her release. Since she was unwilling, this punishment was the only option. The execution has drawn strong criticism from the international community. Criticism Saudi Arabia has rejected, saying, Saudi Arabia emphasizes its protection of the rights of all citizens and expatriates on its soil. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia categorically rejects any interference in its affairs or in the provisions of its judiciary under any justifications. Back in Rizana's village, hundreds of people have been visiting her home. During the seven years she spent in prison, the family received many offers of help. All met with the same response, not until our child returns. Now that will never happen. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Muttur, Northeastern Sri Lanka. Mm.